In this video, I'm going to show you how to download shaders for the brand new Copper Age update. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment, and it is going to provide you with a written step-by-step -step guide along with all the necessary tools and files that you will need. So let's just go ahead and get started. So step number one is to download the Irish Shader Loader. So underneath step number one, you're going to see this link right over here. Please go ahead and select on it and then it is going to bring you to a website that looks like this. And once you're over here, all you want to do is you want to press on this button that says download now, then go ahead and select on download universal jar. And then as you're able to tell, we now have the Iris installer downloaded. And from here, what I recommend that you guys do is drag and drop the Iris installer file to your desktop just like so. If you don't see it over here, what you could always do is open up your file explorer and then look underneath downloads. Then from here, return back to the website and then step number two is to download a shader pack. So go ahead and select on this link over here that says Kurt Sport Shader Packs and it is going to take you to this reliable website where you're able to find a bunch of free to download shaders. So anyways, all you want to do is you want to make sure that shaders is selected, then go ahead and find a shader you would like to install. So for this video, let's go ahead and install the Solash shader. What you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and select on game versions and select on Iris because we're going to be using Iris in order to load into these shaders. All right, once you're over here, you need to make sure that it is compatible with your Minecraft version. So I'm actually recording this video a couple hours before the update comes out, which of course is Minecraft 1.21.9. So by the time you see this video, then a lot of these shaders will already be updated. So you just want to make sure you do find a shader that is compatible with Minecraft 1.21.9. And then you just want to press on these three dots. Then you want to go ahead and select on download. But while that's downloading, let me tell you guys about Symbol Game Hosting. Symbol Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft servers where you're easily able to set up a 24 seven unlimited slot server for you and all your friends. Symbol Game Hosting is incredibly beginner friendly with their dozens of video tutorials and 24 seven live customer support where a Minecraft server expert can walk you through the entire process start to finish. Getting a Minecraft server is hands down the best way to play the brand new Copper Age update. So guys, if you want to enjoy this new update with you and your friends, I highly suggest getting Simple Game Hosting. And at the moment, they're currently doing a sale where everybody who gets a Minecraft server gets 25% off their very first month of server hosting. If that sounds interesting, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comments. All right, guys, that's enough yapping out of me. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and put the shader file to your desktop just like so. And at the moment, we now have these two files. So what you want to do from here is you want to return back to the website. And step number three is to download Java if you haven't already. Now, Java is required in order to run mods, shaders, etc. So it really is essential that you install it. So already step number three, you're going to see this link right over here. And all you want to do is you want to press on it from here. Please select on your operating system whether you're on a Linux, Mac OS, or on a Windows. So me personally, I'm on a Windows, so I would go ahead and select on Windows. Then I would install the x64 installer, and then it is going to walk you through the entire setup wizard, and you may need to reset your PC in order for Java to be applied on your system. But it really is that simple and is completely free to download. Okay, so by this point, you should have three things. You should have Java installed, you should have the Iris installer, and the shader of your choice. Once you have these three things, then you are good to go. All right, so what you want to do from here is you want to go to the Iris installer file and you want to right click on it. Then you want to press on open with. And if you do have Java installed on your system, like I previously mentioned, then you're going to see this option that says Java TM platform SE binary. What you want to do is you want to select on that option over here and then a menu like this will appear. Where it says select game version, please make sure you select on Minecraft 1.21.9. Obviously, I'm recording this video a couple hours before the update actually does come out, but the process is going to be the exact same thing. Okay, and where it says installation type, make sure that iris only is selected. Then go ahead and press on install just like so. It will now say complete. Once it says complete, you can go ahead and close out of the iris installer, then load into the Minecraft launcher like you normally would. Once you're over here, please make sure that Minecraft Java Edition is selected, then go over here to where it says installations. Okay, and where it says versions, please make sure that modded is actually turned on because this is technically considered a modded version of Minecraft. But anyways, you should find it in this list over here. It is going to say iris and sodium for 1.21.8, or obviously if you're watching this video in the future, 1.21.9. And all you want to do from here is you want to select on this folder icon that says open installations folder. Then from here, you're going to get a bunch of folders that look like this. And all you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see the folder called shader packs. So yep, here it is shader packs. If for whatever reason you don't see a folder called shader packs, you can go ahead and create it yourself by right clicking, then pressing on new and then folder and then calling it shader packs in all lowercase. Anyways, what you want to do from here is you want to open up the shader packs folder. And now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and minimize the Minecraft launcher. You want to drag and drop 
your shader that you didn't install previously inside of the shader packs folder just like this. And once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close out of the shader packs folder, return back to the Minecraft launcher, make sure to select on iris and sodium, then go ahead and press on play just like so. It is now going to open up Minecraft. Okay, once you're over here in Minecraft, go ahead and select on single player, then load into any Minecraft world. All right, so once you're in your Minecraft world, here's what you need to do. You need to go ahead and select on options, then select on video settings. You will now notice that our video settings is gonna look completely different. And then from here, please go ahead and select on shader packs, and you will notice that the shader that you did install is right over there. And all you wanna do is you wanna press on apply, just like so, and then go ahead and press on done, press on done, press on done, then back to game. And as you're able to tell, we officially do have shaders working for Minecraft 1.21.9. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 400,000 subscribers. See you later, French fries.